right here today shooting a new uh, 300 blackout from Ruger. I've uh, always had a, just an unnatural affinity for the 300 blackout. Really love that little cartridge. It's very efficient. It's, uh, they shoot really well. It's relatively quiet compared to other things. It gives you uh, very close to 30-30 and 7.6239 power out of a short handy little gun. Now, uh, a lot of people use this in little uh, sub guns like the Honey Badger. That's a dandy little uh, sub gun with a short barrel. But for our purposes, I like it in a hunting rifle. And this is a good, relatively light, handy hunting rifle here from Ruger. It's part of their American series. When they introduced their American rifle about two and a half years ago, you know, at first it looked like it was just going to be an entry level gun, but that gun's been so successful and Ruger keeps expanding the line. They've got the Predator version now. They've got right handed ones, left handed ones. They've got all kinds of versions of the American rifle. So it's a line of its own. It's not just a, a budget priced entry level gun, but it is a, a rifle that's available at a great price. Um, while I'm on that subject, the price on MSRP on this, as the day of this review, is $489 on this. Uh, little rifle that they call the American Ranch Rifle. Um, it's uh, different than their, you know, Mini 14 Ranch Rifle, but the purpose is, you know, to haul around a ranch, shoot something they need shooting, keep in the truck. A lot of people call a gun like this a truck gun. Uh, it's light, it's handy, it's, uh, you can see how short it is. It's threaded here on the end, standard 5 8 by 24, so you can attach a sound suppressor, a flash suppressor, or a muzzle brake to the rifle. One thing I really like about this little rifle is the low bolt lift. You know, most bolt action rifles lift up 90 degrees. This lifts up 70 degrees. So no matter what kind of objective, um, I'm excuse me, what kind of ocular lens you got on your scope, you can clear it uh, with your bolt handle or you got on gloves or not. Doesn't matter, your hand's not going to be rubbing. It's got a full diameter bolt, so it uh, picks the cartridges up uh, easily and it rides smooth. You got three lugs on the bolt. It comes with this uh, section of Rail here on top for mounting a weaver compatible and almost all Picatinny compatible mounts we're going on. This is a Picatinny mount here. I got it from CDNN. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive, but they hold a scope well. And it holds just a 30 millimeter loophole blackout scope rule. Really well. One thing about this scope I really like, it's one and a half to five power, which plenty of magnification from this little cartridge uh, with the range that it has. But on one side of the reticle, it has some tensions for uh, your supersonic lugs and on the other side it has for subsonic lugs. You can use the same scope uh, once you get her sighted in without doing a lot of cranking on your adjustments for both lugs. It also has a lighted reticle in it. You can turn it on and light the thing. Click adjustable out here on the outside of it so you don't have to pull off any lens caps to adjust your scope. Uh, this rifle's got Ruger's uh, power bedding system which is an excellent way to bed a rifle in the stock. I'll show you a picture of that but the way it sticks down in that V-shaped bedding, it, uh, it pulls the, the action, the barrel action down into it. It's not going to slip, not going to move. It's not going to go anywhere. Holds it really well. These barrels are free-floated in this synthetic stock. On the subject of this stock, got the wrong stock on here. They sent it to me. I saw this rifle at the factory. Shot it some about six days ago when I first saw this uh, up in New Hampshire. Uh, they are shipping now. They are available now. But they put one together for me real quick, shipped it here so it would be here when I got back, opened up the box, and it's got the black stock on it. It comes with a flat dark earth stock, which to me is, is what we used to call tan. But the flat dark earth stock looks really well on here. Still got the black accents, uh, matte black barrel action. This gives a little bit better look with a flat dark earth stock on it. But as I say, this is not the correct stock. We'll have a picture for you, show you the correct stock on this thing. The barrel is 16 and 1 8 inches long, and it's hammer forged. And Ruger's hammer forging has really paid off for them. This is an accurate little rifle. And again, that depends on the load. Now, some of these loads, like the, uh, the subsonic uh, Remington ammunition, it's got a velocity spread of, you know, close to 10% in some of them, which is not going to be conducive to good accuracy. But it's still grouped two and a quarter inches at 100 yards. With the good stuff, such as the Barnes uh, X Bullet, their TAC X Bullet, in their Vortex ammo, this thing group half inch at 100 yards, three shots off the bench. It'll also group uh, the Remington OTM, the uh, supersonic stuff, just a little bit uh, wider than that. It's under three quarter inch at 100 yards for three shots. So it does really well too. Uh, another thing I really like on this gun, um, as far as the, uh, the action on it, the trigger on it. It's got a really good crisp trigger on it. It's adjustable from three and a half to five pounds. 
nice and crisp. That's a little lever in the front where it can't go off. It won't even drop unless that's pulled. It's unlike the, it's not like the Savage trigger that looks a lot like it. This one will not even uh, release the sear without that little lever in the center pull. But it gives a good, decent trigger pull. It's got a five shot rotary magazine. So you can get five cartridges in here plus one in the chamber, give you a total of six, and it, it don't stick out the bottom of the rifle. It still makes it real comfortable to carry. But it's a light, handy, accurate little rifle and a dandy cartridge. Also chamber for 5.56 and 223 if you prefer that. I really like the 300 Blackout, and it does really well in this little gun. It's a nice quality gun at an affordable price, and it's available right now from Ruger. You shuck some subsonic, and I'm going to shoot uh, three supersonic to show you how it sounds with this can on here. It sounds like a bunch of motorcycle with the can on there. I'm going to run three subsonic without the can on there. I'm going to shoot some uh, supersonic ammo without the can on here just to show you what it sounds like. It's uh, not excessively loud, but you still need uh, air protection when shooting this uh, little rifle with no can on it. Thank you. 